One of the big headlines from this year's midterm election was voter turnout. Many people exercised their civic right. Eyewitness News reporter Aziza Schuler is live in Center City with more on that. Hi, Aziza. Hi, Jess. There's a sense that voters here in Philadelphia understand one thing. There's a lot riding on the results of this year's midterm election. As the ballot counting continues, preliminary numbers from the Philadelphia City Commissioner's Office suggest an impressive 42% turnout from Philly voters in this year's midterm election. What will be interesting to see in the days ahead is how Philadelphia's turnout compared to counties across Pennsylvania. Al Schmidt, president and CEO of the Committee of 70, says once all ballots are counted, 2022 voter turnout could come close to 2018's above average count of 50 percent. Turnout should be down a little bit from 2018. But 2018 had terrific turnout in Philadelphia. When it came to making your vote count, we asked Philadelphians what drove them to the polls. And as many told us, it was more about the issues. Like a lot of people I care about are affected by like reproductive rights. And less about party allegiance. All of the political infighting, I'm done with the two party system. We need to do something to fix this problem. In some ways, that's good news for the country because. Party loyalty uh, and a failure to think through issues on your own uh, has not really helped our country. University of Pennsylvania law professor Claire Finkelstein believes voters were engaged in these midterms in a way they hadn't in previous elections. People may have come to, to feel that politics really matters, matters to their daily lives. Uh, and then the concern about democracy, I think, is very real. And you're now looking at a live picture from the Philadelphia Ballot Processing Center where workers continue to count and scan election ballots. This will continue to take place until every single vote is counted. In Center City, Aziza Schuler, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Aziza, thank you.